thrift haul today for you guys. So I love to go thrifting and there's a bunch of thrift stores in my state. There's St. Vincent de Paul, there's Goodwill, there's Savers. Um, there's a bunch of smaller ones too that are privately owned. Of course, we also have the Salvation Army um, and just a bunch of other ones. So over the last couple of months, I've done some thrifting and I found some really cool stuff that I wanted to share with you. So uh, a couple of the coolest things that I found that I actually knew nothing about when I was there. Um, I was actually at Goodwill and I was looking at baskets because I'm looking for some baskets to store some of my sewing stuff in, um, in my office studio. And wasn't really finding a lot of what I was looking for. This lady saw me looking at the baskets and told me, hey, you know, there's some Longa Burger baskets over there. So I found out that Longa Burger is a company that's been around probably at least for 50 years, if not longer. Um, and they used to do home shows, kind of like Tupperware and Mary Kay, where they would sell these basket sets. And they're really, really nice, durable baskets. Come to find out, they are actually really pricey right now. So people will buy them for, you know, 80, 90. I've seen some even for a couple of hundred dollars. Just kind of depends on the size and what they're for. So I found two, thanks to this lady. I don't know her name and I just, um, so there was this one here. It was a two handle top. Um, they tend to be known because they have a uh, cloth inserts and then this colored weaving in them. They are handmade. This one has a lid on it and this is actually a solid wood, pretty hefty lid. And it says on it, Longa Burger. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, and it also says it on the bottom of the basket. Now this basket actually had an insert in it. Now I'm storing all my buttons in it right now. So I had these two plastic inserts that had compartments in it. So there's one on top. And then a bigger one underneath. Now these were used for picnics. Um, there were some that were specifically for sewing baskets, for transporting food. I, I found out so much about them. And actually, there's quite a few of them in my area. Now, the company itself is from back east. But I have found a lot of people are selling them, probably not even knowing what they truly have on apps like OfferUp and Craigslist for like 20 bucks, 10 bucks. Um, so I'm hoping to get some more. Um, I also found this one, which is a slightly smaller one, same fabric. This one has a button on it to close it with a piece of leather. And the hinges on it are leather. And this one I'm just storing some sewing stuff in here. So I have some of my machine needles in here. I have a tape measure, my thimbles, sewing machine feet, some labels and then hand sewing pins as well. So this is actually going to be more of my sewing basket when I have to do hand sewing. I am also going to put a pair of snips in here, a seam ripper, and some basic thread. So I found those at Goodwill and I got them for, the smaller one I believe was $4 and the larger one was five or $4.99, something like that. Um, so I got them really cheap and these two baskets are both worth over $50 These two particular styles. I did look them up. Neither of them had any real damage um, the smaller one The lid was a little bit cracked and warped, but nothing worrisome So if I ever decide to resell them, they do have a great resale value, but I absolutely love them the only thing is I'm really not big into floral fabric so I might make new fabric inserts for them. Some other things I have found. Um, I actually found this more towards the beginning of the summer. This beautiful little wicker basket with the wooden handle. It's got a zipper. I'm already using it so I have stuff in it. Um, it's just a basic, ba um, there's no pockets or anything in it. It's just you drop your stuff in it and go. Um, the only damage that was to it, I got it for $3 
on the bottom, some of the wicker was coming loose and all I did was glue it back down. And it's held up perfectly for the entire summer. I have been using it. So I got this like in June and I've been using it since then. It is now middle, middle of September and it's been going great. Another purse that I got at Goodwill that I had been looking for for a long time was this little purse. I mean, it's nothing vintage style or anything. It's just a little purse. I had a purse like this years ago. It was a coach purse. It was this shape, but it didn't have any of the visible stitching. The buckle was much smaller um, and it disappeared. A little baguette purse. And I've been looking for one in that style ever since. Um, I eventually will probably get another coach one, but lately coach hasn't been selling anything that I really like. Like a lot of it is really flashy, way too modern. I like more of the vintage shapes. So even though this one has contrast stitching on it, I got it anyway because I just thought it was cute and I needed a little black bag. It does have a pocket in it. Just a single leather pocket. Let me see if it has the brand on it because I never even checked. Uh, it is an actual leather bag, which I didn't know, made in Korea. It has a serial number on it. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to look up this bag. Maybe it is something. So, I'll look this up and I'll let you guys know, um, what bag, what kind of bag it is. I never even checked that. But this I got for about $3. Now, I had been looking for a little dish for a while to put my pins in, um, and at Goodwill, I found this little bowl. It was just sold all by itself. It's got this beautiful little blue edging on it with these little purple and orange flowers. Um, I love purple. My office is going to be blue and bronze. It's got a little gold edging on it, so I figured that'll go great. And it holds my pins really good. So I purchased this. This was 99 cents. And then I found these bottles at Goodwill. Um, they were $1.49 each. These amber glass bottles. I want to use them for Halloween decor. I will probably keep them amber glass. But I'm going to make some old potion labels for them so I can put them in for my Halloween decor. I found this beautiful silk scarf. It's Storks. Um, it's Chinese silk. Um, it's blue, which is one of my favorite colors. So it's blue and white. It's got a little bit of red in it. Um, it is a Chinese silk, although I'm not sure if it's from Japan or China. Um, I got this for $2.49. All I know is that it is 100% silk. And the tag on it is not written in English. So, this is, I don't know if you can see, it's written in Chinese, Japanese, Korean. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And even if it's not 100% silk, it feels really nice and I love it. So I'm going to keep that in my bed to my collection. I'm also looking for frames. Um, I have a bunch of pictures, some in frames, some aren't that I want to put. I want to create a gallery wall in my hallway. So I'm looking for cheap frames, but I want pretty frames. So this one I found for $2.49. It's a, bra, um, a pewter frame. Now on the back here has a uh, Compare it $19.99, our price $9.99. I don't know what that was from. So it's a $20 frame that was sold for $10 and then sold, resold again at Goodwill for $2.50. Um, it's a 5 by 7 So I thought it was really pretty. I'll either leave it the pewter or maybe spray paint it bronze. Just kind of depends on what I want to do. For more Halloween decor, and I didn't realize how much these were shedding, um, I purchased two sequined sheer pieces um, for $2.49. 
to use for Halloween decor. Um, they're shedding some of their sequins, so I'm not going to take the whole thing out. But it's like a a banner, uh, not a banner, but like a shawl piece. So I found this purse, which I absolutely love, and I think this actually might be a brand new purse. Um, it looks like it was never used. It's got no scuff marks, no scratches. All the beading on the front is still intact. Um, the body of it is cloth. It's this beautiful printed cloth. Great for a summer bag. It has a brass clasp on the top. Opens up. It's got a little pocket. And just this brown cotton fabric inside. I got this for $6 at St. Vincent de Paul. Um, it looks very vintage. 40 style. So I purchased that. Um, but again, I think it's brand new. Then I also found this little black, it looks like, it's not a satin, but maybe a silk, um, little structured purse. This one looks very vintage. Again, it's probably newer, but it looks very vintage. It's got satin on the inside, and this one I got for $4.50. It's just this little structured purse. I also bought some brooches. They look very vintage. Um, this one probably isn't. This one could be from the 80s, 90s, maybe even the 2010s. This one is just a gold tone circle brooch with pearls on it. Um, very cute, very simple. This one looks like it could be very 40s or 50s. It looks like rope tied into a heart, but it's just this beautiful gold tone. This one could be, it looks like 20s, 30s, 40s, um, but it's probably 80s um, just because um, it's very hard to find jewelry from way back. But this is an Art Deco brown cover, kind of like in this resin bar piece brooch. Um, so these I got for various prices. One was two, one was four, one was three. This one was two. Now, this one is a 1940s brooch. And then I know this because I've seen this brooch hundreds of times on the collector's websites. So it's just a simple gold tone. And I say gold tone because I don't know if it's truly gold or not. Bar pin with a pearl and two diamonds or rhinestones on either side of it. So it's hard to see with this light. It just kind of gets blown out. But that's it. And it's beautiful. And I got it for $2. Okay, so let's see what else have I purchased. Um, then I purchased some new things, okay? So I went to Joann's because I needed to get some lining fabric. Um, I'll show you what for first. But before I go into the fabric, I got very kitschy. I don't have my mug here now, but you guys will see my mug later. I bought a, a mug um, for me that is a, it's black and it's a Ouija board on the front. But then this I bought for my daughter. She loves to drink wine. My daughter is in her 20s. And she, like me, likes all the spooky and Halloween as her favorite. So this is a stemless wine glass with a skeleton hand holding the glass. So I figured she would really like that. So this one was priced at $19.99 um, and the mug was $12.99, but I got them at 40% off. Um, and in addition to the 40% off, I got another 20% off my total purchase. Gotta love the Joann's coupons. So I am, again, before I show you the shopper, I am making a 1940s style suit. So I'm going to show you this. This is the suit that I'm making. And yes, I'm making the jacket, the skirt, and the slacks. The only thing I'm not making from this pattern is the blouse. Um, so this is Simplicity 3688. My mom gifted this beautiful wool suiting to me. So I'm going to show you what this is. This is that beautiful wool suiting. Now, I live in Arizona, so it gets very hot here. But wool is a natural fiber, so it breathes. 
okay? And it insulates your body. So it insulates your body for warmth and for cool as well. So this is a very thin suiting fabric. I will be able to wear this in the winter and the summer. Um, I'm always cold in the summer anyway, and anytime I go anywhere it's freezing because they have the air conditioner really low, but it's this beautiful brown wool suiting with, it's a plaid with this blue in it. So I'm making that suit out of it, and I had to purchase some lining for the jacket. Um, so I got this. It's unfortunately, it's 100% polyester lining. I was hoping for a cotton or a silk or maybe not silk. Silk is too warm. Even though it's a natural fiber, it doesn't breathe the same. It's too warm. Um, but something, maybe a rayon. You know, rayon is a cellulose. It's a, it comes from a plant, so it breathes a little bit better. But this was 100% polyester. It was all that they had. Unfortunately, I do have to say with Joann's. Joann's is great if you want to purchase patterns. They're, they have great pattern sales. Um, uh, most of my patterns I have, if not all of my patterns, I have gotten from them. No, not all. My mom's given me quite a few. So most of my patterns I have gotten from Joann's when they do their $1.99 sale. So most of my patterns are Butterick. Uh, most of them are Simplicity. Um, and then some uh, McCall's in there as well. So, you know, the big four. I haven't gotten, I don't have very many Vogue because Vogue tends to be pricing even with the sales they only go down to $5.99 otherwise they're like $30, $40, um, $20 so I don't have a lot of Vogue patterns but all the other ones go down to about $1.99 and that's when I usually purchase my patterns they're also great for their 50% off coupons but you have to make sure that you're getting something that is not on sale once in a while they will have coupons that apply to the total price including sale items those are great um, but unfortunately their apparel fabrics leave something to be desired they have tons of quilting cottons but um, which you can make clothing from but it's a heavier cotton it's a thicker firmer cotton it doesn't drape as nicely so it's harder to make clothing from it um, but as far as their fa apparel fabrics the majority of their apparel fabrics are polyester which I really don't like because polyester does not breathe and in the state of Arizona you want your clothing to breathe you want to be able to feel cool so wearing cottons and 100% linen and linen blends linen cotton blends especially are amazing but linen polyester you really don't want to do um, all of their silky fabrics are all 100% polyester as well none of them are blends so you can't find any of that so unfortunately when I purchase my fabrics I either need to purchase online or I need to go find one of the smaller shops like there's a fabric called SAS fabrics out here there's a fabric store I should say called SAS fabrics out here and I'm able to find much more poly um blend blend fabrics there more apparel fabrics there the thing about that is it's not as clearly marked some of the stuff is just folded on shelves so you're not seeing the bolts you're not seeing the end bolts to see what the care is or what truly it is you're just going by the word so if you don't know what a fabric um, looks and feels like it's hard to tell and the thing is these days even um some of the synthetic fabrics it's really hard to tell like this is 100 percent polyester but honestly it feels like a nylon or a silk um it doesn't feel like polyester. You have to do a burn test. And a lot of these stores don't allow you to do that in the store. Um, if you're lucky or you're sneaky enough, you can snip off a little piece, go outside and do your burn test. But um, I prefer to purchase online because I usually know what I'm getting. It will explain everything there. And you can also get um, swatches. If you're unsure, if you're that type of person that has to fill your fabric, then order swatches. Um, they're, sometimes they're a couple of dollars, so order a bunch of them, get them, and then decide which fabrics you want. So, okay, I got that. Even purchasing notions is difficult at Joann's, okay? Um, I did find two zippers that I needed, but again, polyester. But, I mean, with the zipper, I'm not going to care. Um... I just, I needed a zipper. These are Coats and Clark. They're good. Most of the zippers you find are going to have polyester. They're not going to be cotton tape on them. So you just get what you, what you get. But I got my two zippers for my skirt and my pants. 
Um, I already had buttons that my mom had given me. My mom gave me a bunch of everything in my button basket. My mom gave me. I have purchased very few buttons because my mom gave me tons of buttons. So I already have buttons. Um, I was I have been looking for some vintage style buttons, but I haven't found what I'm looking for. So I'll probably just use those. I did purchase some thread that I needed. So I like the Gudeman thread. Um, the, it is a polyester thread, but polyester thread for sewing is strong. That's probably about the only time I don't mind polyester. And usually it's a cotton coated polyester. So you still get the strength, but you have the cotton in it. So I purchased three brown ones, and then I purchased a black one and a white one, um, just because I need to have my neutral colors and I need to build up my whites and my blacks. Is there anything else that I purchased? I think that that is it for my purchases. So that's what I've purchased over the last two, three months. Um, and I will see you guys in the next haul and I will be posting every week. If you like this video, if you like the content, please subscribe below. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so that you're notified anytime I post a video. Like I said, I'll be posting once a week and I look forward to getting to know you guys. If you like the content of this video, please let me know in the comments below if there's any other content you'd like to see. Again, please let me know in the comments below. Have a great day.